Dear Charlotte, the war has turned. General Cornwallis took flight with his army and moved north. We continued to engage the British, and in the months that followed, Cornwallis entrenched himself at Yorktown, Virginia. George Washington escaped from the north undetected and surrounded Cornwallis, who could not retreat to the seas. It was blocked off by our long-lost friends, who had finally arrived. Vive la France. Vive la liberté. You. you must order the surrender. How could it come to this? An army of rabble, peasants. Everything will change. Everything has changed. Though he eventually surrendered, Cornwallis himself hid in shame, appointing his subordinate to relinquish his sword. With the war ending and our militia disbanding, I take measure of what we have lost and what we have won. My hope and prayer is that the sacrifices borne by so many will spawn and fulfill the promise of our new nation. Tell the children, and especially Susan, that I will keep my promise, as I will be returning to you all soon. Where do you go now? Home? Start over? Uh, your wife's expecting a child soon, isn't she? She gave birth to a son three weeks ago. Ah. What'd you name him? We named him Gabriel. Thank you, Harry. Gabriel is a, it's a good name for a farmer. It is. It is. John? Ben. John. <laughs> Bonne chance. Toi aussi, mon fils.